the long-awaited, highly anticipated video of the year is here. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Marjolyn and in today's video, I'm finally going to be talking to you guys about my weight loss journey. I am not a, what is it, a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. Like I did what I thought would be best in my case. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So I don't know how many visual aids this video is gonna have. I will try to put as many pictures up that <laughs> I'm able to find just because I was a little bit smart in my heavier days and I did not like to take full body pictures like that just because I knew I was big and it was uncomfortable. I was very insecure, but you know, body pictures tend to happen whether you like them or not so i do have a few buried somewhere deep down into my camera roll so i will try to look them up and post them up around the screen for you guys just so that you guys can see kind of what i looked like what my starting weight was i believe that before i started losing weight i was weighing around 180 pounds i'm currently sitting at about 150 and i'm still not at my weight goal but let me just give you guys a full storyline of when i started my weight loss journey i started my weight loss journey at the beginning of november 2021 right after my birthday i felt my heaviest when i took my birthday pictures i was like like that's when it clicked for me i think taking pictures on my birthday when i thought i looked the prettiest which i mean i did i looked really cute but i was just a little heavy and i was like damn after my birthday i was like okay i need to get my together and i need to start working out what i started to do is i just started working out i was working from home at the time so what was working out for me haha <laughs> no pun intended was working out for me at that point was waking up early in the morning before you know clocking in to work because i didn't really have to clock in um i would wake up early in the morning and i would jump rope for like an hour or i would count like i would do challenges with the jump rope so that's technically what started me on my weight loss i did lose like maybe four or five pounds i think and i did make a video about that and i will link it somewhere up here um but after i jumped rope i lost a few pounds and i was like you know what i can i can keep doing this like it wasn't that hard so i would jump rope and then i started incorporating like cardio like at home cardio videos from youtube i think the page that helped me the most was the body project oh my gosh without their videos i would have been stuck like their videos were so interactive and i don't know like i feel like the instructors were very real and honest about your results like nothing's gonna happen overnight you just have to be consistent i liked the vibe that the their channel had so i will be linking their channel also down below i was eating normally like i don't eat a lot but i guess the things that i would eat weren't good for me like they weren't healthy like i didn't eat a lot of greens like i was just eating like your typical like fast food like street food like i wasn't getting that many home cooked meals um especially in college like i think the freshman 15 was more like a freshman 20 25 for me because i think i did gain a lot of weight in college but it's okay anyways snapping back to post-college i was dealing with the aftermath of me eating whatever i wanted to eat so what i was doing i was like okay you know what i can keep my eating habits maybe if i start working out and i will lose some weight so i started doing that at the end of november by the beginning of the following year um i want to say like maybe around february i had already lost 10 pounds and i was feeling great like you know I, I liked being active i would go on walks and i would jump rope and i was doing the cardio but after seven months i was just like mm, i got bored so that's what kind of helped me lose the first like 10 pounds mind you right now i have lost a total of 30 pounds the first 10 pounds i lost solely from working out and then after that i was like you know what i've seen a lot of people say that weight loss is like 80 percent diet and 20 percent fitness so i was like i'm gonna eat right so i started fasting i'm already familiarized with the terms of fasting like i kind of know how it works i was just never really consistent with it when i started fasting i think i lost an additional maybe like five ten pounds and i did also kind of start eating a little bit better i wasn't working out but i was controlling my food intake my portions 
and I was fasting and the way that I would fast is I would either fast uh, 24 hours for one day out of the week or I would do the 16 to 8 rule I believe that's what it is yeah so pretty much when you eat for a period of eight hours and then you fast for a period of 16 hours and also water intake is so important you guys like you need to drink your water okay i'm not saying drink a whole gallon like i do for the most part but at least half of one of these will do it for you like water keeps you full hydrated it helps with your skin it helps with so much so water intake is super super important make sure you guys are staying hydrated water so good and recently like i'm talking in the past like maybe two to three weeks i started doing my fasting with my calorie deficit so what i'm doing is that i put myself in a semi keto ish not really i have noticed i'm trying to reduce heavily the amount of carbs that i'm taking in so like i don't really eat rice like that anymore i haven't eaten pasta like that anymore i don't eat bread so i eat a lot of keto replacements like i have these keto tortillas that i buy at walmart oh my gosh i swear by them i love them i bought like maybe in the last two weeks maybe like four or five packs because i with every meal with every almost every meal i have at least one i I'm eating a lot of greens and I I mean I eat protein like I eat protein but I, I'm eating a lot more salads I'm eating a lot more you know like spinach but I've noticed that I just I eat whatever I want but I try to get like the healthier alternatives I feel like when people are eating or trying to lose weight they put themselves in this weight loss mentality of i can only eat salad tuna no flavor no dressing no no i eat my my dressing on my salad <laughs> if i'm craving something sweet instead of gravitating towards you know regular brownies i get fiber brownies that have maybe let me see uh 90 calories and it has very little like sugar like they're they're fiber so it's naturally good for you or if i want chips instead of gravitating towards doritos or like uh, hot cheetos or anything that it has more calories i get something else that is just as tasty but is a good uh, weight loss alternative i guess the ones that i've been gravitating towards recently are the quaker cheddar um what are these called rice crisps here we go <laughs> it's right in my face they're so good you guys like i'm not kidding you they're so yummy. They're cheddar. Like, how can you... How can you hate that? Like, you can't... You can't hate it. It's so good. I think that one thing that restricts a lot of people in weight loss is that you think that to lose weight, you have to take away everything that's good. And that's not necessarily true because if you want to go out and you want to have a burger, go out and have your burger. You know what? Have your burger and your fries but the way to go smartly about it is to eat half so portion control you can eat whatever you want but just eat half of it because that way you're cutting the calories so you're putting your body into that calorie deficit and if you get hungry later then have a big bowl of salad and put your protein and put whatever dressing you want but make sure you're eating more greens and more proteins than you know like the fat foods but you don't have to cut out everything that's good you just have to find alternatives and you have to find replacements but like i said this is just what has worked for me and i know it's easier said than done this is something that i have been going at for over a year and i'm still not at my final weight goal but i just wanted to share with you guys some things that like i said they have helped me and things that i hope will continue to help me in the future and once i get to my weight goal hopefully at the end of this year i will be able to give you guys more things like more alternatives of foods to eat and you know just stuff that will be able to help you long term in regards to weight loss so yeah that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys hopefully in my next video